Phoenix High School. I'm Dana Kamir. And I'm Jordan Grace. We wanted to start today's broadcast with a reminder that this week we will have a block schedule days on Wednesday and Thursday. That's right, Wednesday we will have a regular 8.30 start time followed by a Monday block schedule and on Thursday we will have a Tuesday block schedule. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into the announcements we've got. This is a reminder for juniors and seniors who need credit retrieval. Mrs. Pond will be opening the Diploma Center the first three days of spring break, which are Wednesday, and th or Wednesday Thursday, and Friday, March 16th through 18th. There is a time change for Thursday. The times are Wednesday 9 to 12, Thursday 10.30 to 1.30, and Friday 9 to 12. See Ms. Pond to sign up or if you have any questions. Relay for Life is meeting on Thursdays at lunch in room N412. All students interested in fundraising for a cure of cancer are welcome to join in this fun and worthwhile activity. Say yes to formal dress. Please donate any gently used prom attire, including dresses, tuxes, shoes, and jewelry. If you have any donations, please, please bring them to the front desk or Ms. Campbell's room. Let's help Phoenix High School prom be a great one. Chloe Stain and Alyssa Day are running the Mr. PHS pageant for their senior project. The pageant will be held on Friday, March 11th at 7 o'clock p.m. in the Rose Street Theater. Adult tickets are $6, student tickets are $5, and it's only $3 for kids under the age of 10. All the proceeds will go to the Children's Miracle Network. If you have any questions, see Chloe Stain or Alyssa Day. Congratulations to the following DECA members for their achievements at the 2016 State Career Development Conference. Kyle Bodermans, fifth place overall in quick serve restaurants, including a win in a role play. Audrey Hazel, eighth place overall in hotel and lodging, including third in a role play. Emmy Weiss and Audrey Hazel, eighth place overall in hospitality team decision making. Aishwarya Valanki, ninth place overall in quick serve restaurant, including second place in testing. Great job, all DECA members. On a different note, here's a segment to tell you about what some of our teachers think about attendance and restorative justice. In what way does it impact you and the students in your class when a student is late or skips class? Students showing up late to class, uh, it's a distraction for me, it's a distraction to the other students. I have to remember to go back and change attendance. And, you know, you're always missing time. Anytime you miss class time, you're missing time to learn something. Well, when you skip class, it puts you behind. And the biggest problem with that is then you're going to come whining, wanting to make things up get here when you're supposed to in the first place you wouldn't be behind and then we wouldn't have to worry about that so it's definitely in your best interest to be here and take care of business ways I'm impacted when a student is late is that the class as well as myself is distracted uh, I also have to uh, play catch-up with that student if they're one minute late two minutes late that's even time that they've lost out of the class and would possibly have to get caught up, which is more time uh, for me, more time for them, and lots of times they don't take the time uh, to come in and get that help that they miss. How can students make it right when they are late or skip class? If a student is late, it's not the end of the world, and there's things that they can do to make it right. One of the things, and the first thing, is to just apologize. And don't just say it because you know you should say it. Say it because you mean it. Say you, you're sorry because you're late and you know that you impacted the class as well as the teacher. Um, and taking, taking time out of your day then to come in and, and fix what you missed. If you missed 10 minutes, come in for 10 minutes. Sit down, do some work, um, ask questions then. Uh, once you've taken time out of my day, I feel like at that point it's time for you to take time out of your day to make what you did wrong right. From a teaching standpoint, uh, students can make our lives a little easier when they're tardy by coming into class as quietly as possible, um, making as little disruption as possible, and attempting to reacclimate themselves into the class as quickly as possible. Uh, wait for a natural break uh, from your teacher, and I know all of the staff here are amazing. They'll go and they'll, they'll work with that student to make sure that they kind of get caught up. Um, in terms of skipping, I think the biggest thing that you can do if you're trying to make it right to teachers whose class you skipped is communicate with them. Come see them as soon as possible. 
uh, communicate about what it is that you missed, what you need to do to make that up, and expect to make it up with your time, not the teacher's time. I think a lot of times students have the misconception that um, our job is to beckon at their will every second that they might need it, and realistically, our jobs are extremely busy, and so we need to find the time within our day to make sure we can help that student who missed out on the opportunity to have that time if they would have been in class. Being late to class isn't just disruptive to the teachers, but also the students. Attendance is a career-related experience. Mr. Cornett. Barnes & Noble is hosting a My Favorite Teacher contest. This provides students an opportunity to tell their community how much their teachers are appreciated by writing an essay, poem, or thank you letter explaining how a teacher has influenced their life and why they appreciate and admire them. For more information, pick up a flyer in the library. Rogue Valley Earth Day is seeking youthful artists to perform theater music and creative writing poetry or other acts on the Earth Day stage. Each year, the celebration features live entertainment for a joyful, family-friendly audience. We are especially seeking short acts related to climate, energy, and conservation, but it is not limited to this. The 2016 celebrated takes place, celebration takes place on Saturday, April 23rd, 11 to 4, at the grounds of Science Works Museum in Ashland. See Ms. Singleton if you have any questions. Seniors, the PHS Local Scholarship application is now available and any senior is welcome to apply. Visit the Phoenix High School website and click on the Future Planning Center to download the application or see Ms. House to get started. Tomorrow during 7th period, an admission, an admission representative from the US, from University of Oregon will be here to meet you with prospective students and talk about the school and pr admission process. If you are a junior who is thinking about applying to U of O next year, sign up in the Future Planning Center. The Oregon University College Fair will be here at Phoenix High School next Monday during lunch. Looks pretty good. Representative from all over Oregon's public universities such as Portland State, Oregon State, Western Oregon, and more will be available to tell you all about their, high, their school has to offer. Everyone is welcome to visit the small gym during lunch next Monday to learn about colleges and pick up some cool college swag. All juniors in My Future, My Choice must see Mrs. Hopkins in the library no later than tomorrow by 1 o'clock to receive a note saying you can attend My Future, My Choice. Please turn that note into Mrs. G in attendance ASAP. All other My Future, My Choice members, please be ready to teach your third lesson at TMS. Despite being on a different time schedule, on Wednesday you will still leave at your normal time. In FFA news, Chapter lunch meeting this week in Mr. Kennedy's room on Wednesday, March 9th. Free pizza. School farm work day, Wednesday, March 16th. Anyone raising an animal has to make it to at least one of the cleanup days. This is the last one. Please bring tools and gloves. Be there at 8 o'clock a.m. to noon. Please don't forget your gloves. CDE practices. Floriculture, Tuesdays and Thursdays after school in Miss Walkup's room. Nursery landscape. Tuesdays and Thursdays after school in Miss Walkup's room. Ag Mechanics, Tuesdays and, and Thursdays, 7.30 a.m. in Mr. Kennedy's room. Food Science, Tuesdays and Thursdays after school in Ms. Walkup's room. Horse Judging, C. Taylor Cortell, Meat Judging, starts March 9th at 3.30 to 4.30 in Mr. Kennedy's room. Now it's trivia time. Last week's question was, when is Mr. PHS? And the winner is... Miriam Arias. Oh, Miriam Arias in Carvalho's, and she said March 11th. Um, this week's question is, when does spring break start? Turn your answers into the um, envelope labeled trivia on Mr. Rhodes' door. On a side note, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, with the end of the year quickly approaching, are you starting to think about what electives you'd like to take next year? We'll make sure to stick around for the pledge, and following it, we will have the an elective video to show you what next year's electives will be. As always, this is your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.